initial basic feasible solution through northwest corner rule can be obtained by following certain steps these steps are comprehensively explained in the pdf attached with this lecture please give it a look before attending now assuming you have gone through the attachment and have a preliminary idea of the steps involved let's understand this method with the help of an example here let's first check if demand is equal to supply or not so for that we will add all the ai and bi values or in other words we need to find if summation of bi is equal to summation of ai or not now adding all the ai values we have 11 plus 13 plus 19 is equal to 43 and all bi values as 6 plus 10 plus 12 plus 15 this is also coming up to be 43 so we can proceed now if these values are not coming to be equal we need to add dummy columns and rows this is however beyond the scope of this course now choose the cell in the northwest corner of the transportation problem table and allocate as much as possible in this cell so that either the capacity of first row or the supply row is exhausted or the destination requirement of the first column or the demand is exhausted that means x11 is equals to minimum of a1 and b1 so the most appropriate value here would be 6 since it will completely suffice the demand value in the corresponding column so we will write zero in the corresponding demand value and subtract 6 from the supply value of corresponding column so we have 5 remaining here now since demand is exhausted or supply is greater than demand that means b1 is less than a1 move one cell right horizontally to the second column and allocate as much as possible repeat the process until only one cell is remaining you are actually proceeding with allocations in every northwest corner cell of the matrix or table finally we can have all the allocations as you can see here now let's cross check the number of allocations made are correct or not so here m plus n minus 1 is 4 plus 3 minus 1 that is 6 so allocations are made correctly therefore it's a basic feasible solution now let's calculate the cost of transportation the cost can be calculated by multiplying the allocated value of xij of allocated cells with given cij values in the matrix or the table so the optimum or the optimized cost would be 6 into 21 plus 5 into 16 plus 5 into 18 plus 8 into 14 plus 4 into 18 plus 15 into 41 that is 1095 denominations